Happy after Thanksgiving, friends. It's the day after Thanksgiving when this video is coming out. Actually, my family got, I think it was our second Thanksgiving meal, if we were counting all the times we're doing Thanksgiving this year. I think we will end up with like eight Thanksgiving meals by the time this is said and done. We had our first Thanksgiving meal a few days early, so I could go ahead and get this video for you guys, it's been highly requested. Today I'm giving you three after Thanksgiving recipes. All three of these are also freezer friendly. So if you get burned out on turkey and if you wanna put it in the freezer for a few weeks or a month or whatever, you feel like turkey again, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you're gonna use up your leftovers right now and you just wanna eat that stinking turkey a different way, these recipes are for you. So the three after Thanksgiving recipes that we are going to make today is we're going to make a stock pot full of leftover turkey noodle soup. We're going to make a couple pans of yummy, left again, leftover, all the leftovers, leftover Thanksgiving casserole, and we're gonna cook up some cheesy turkey terrazzini. So this is the state, of course I got this new bag of, um, I almost said turkey, new bag of cheese. I got specifically with doing some leftover meals in mind. We got an onion, got some leftover stuffing, mashed potatoes. There's some gravy in here, but we're gonna make a little more. And then there's some corn. But anyway, so here's the state of my leftover turkey. And then what you see around there is extra broth I had poured over the turkey when I originally served it. So we got some white meat. We have some dark meat. This is an 18 pound turkey. And then of course, with those pounds, there's bones, etc. So I'm thinking eyeballing this, we probably have, I'll tell you exactly, my guess is gonna be we have anywhere between six to eight cups of turkey left. And I'm going to use this turkey to make all three of these recipes. So what I've been working on here is I put in the, I've got two of these, let me show you, 32 ounce bags of mixed vegetables. And it's a whole onion and a whole thing of celery all chopped up and I, I put a stick of butter at the bottom of this Dutch oven and now I'm just gonna put the lid on it and let all of this tenderize. And then I will be using this mixture actually in all three recipes in different ways. And I also put a few cups of chicken broth at the bottom. So broth wise, I did not make turkey broth when I did the turkey and made everything else. I am just using chicken broth, chicken stock, the Great Value brand. I do have bone broth in the freezer, but I didn't think enough ahead of time to get it defrosted before I wanted to make you this leftover Thanksgiving recipe video. So the moral of the story broth wise is use whatever broth you have accessible. Make yourself some turkey broth, use some chicken broth out of the container, make some bone broth any way you wanna do it, but I knew I needed broth for these recipes. And this is my mama hack for how it's working for me this go round. So here is the turkey now all chopped up and ready to go in these three new recipes. So Travis has taken the kids out the door to go to dance classes this evening. Other things getting ready to throw together, but before that, we're going to put together very quickly these after Thanksgiving casseroles. If I would have started with those, I could have had those done before the kids left for dance and they could have had some for a quick dinner before they go. But now you guys will have it when you get back. Okay, Gabriel? Okay, okay, okay. have fun, have fun. <laughs> bye, kid, bye. So we're gonna do those right now though because there's no reason why those can't be in the oven. And for those of you who've been following along with my, my dishwasher's down saga, uh, Mr. Travis got the dishwasher back up and running. Hasn't helped me though in the area of dishes. Well, I guess we have dishes all day, every day, but at least now we can put them in the dishwasher. That's helpful. So we are going to get these leftovers in to these uh, glass pans I have in front of me. Hopefully get at least two nine by 13 pans of the after Thanksgiving casserole in the oven. Of course, several different ways that you can do it. Now you can also include a layer of cranberry sauce. I know that's not for everyone. Some people will like it though. So I'm going to do one of mine with that extra layer of cranberry sauce and one without. I bet most of the kiddos in my house uh, one or two things. I don't think they've ever had it with cranberry sauce. They're either gonna eat it and not know, 
or they're gonna see it or hear me talk about it and say, no, no, we don't want that. But uh, I know I'll eat it. I know my mom will eat it. I'm trying to think who else will eat it. We might be the only two who do, but oh well, more for us. First off, get a layer of mashed potatoes. These are the homemade mashed potatoes that I made. I think I showed these in the last um, large family week week of meals or meals of the week that I did. And this is why I think I'll only get two pans out of this because I think that's without making more mashed potatoes today, which I'm just not gonna do, um, I think these are all the mashed potatoes I have left. And now something else you could do during this step is you could add a layer of shredded cheese. I'm just gonna go for now and add the turkey. You'll also see, because I did pour broth on my turkey, could have taken this now that has gelled and made homemade turkey broth out of it, but I didn't want to, so there's that. <laughs> but that is something you could do. Okay, and I only had about a cup of gravy left, so I added about a cup of heavy cream to it, and I'm whisking it up. You just want to stretch your gravy as far as you can. Again, I don't want to make any more gravy right now. But I know I have enough to work with. So I'm just going to kind of drizzle it over both of these. Now this is the, the homemade cranberry sauce I did in the slow cooker. I was thinking I would have enough um, for our actual Thanksgiving day here at my house. I may have to end up making more depending on how far this goes. So on one of them, I'm doing a layer of cranberry sauce. So here they are. Now we're going to cover both of them in foil, put them in the oven for 370 at 375 for about 45 minutes. Also, if you're concerned, like with the stuffing drying out, etc., you can also pour some gravy on the top or even a little broth, either one will help. I had to think for a moment with those after Thanksgiving casseroles, if I really wanted to do two of them. However, I'm thinking of my days and I think, and for my family, I am gonna go ahead and cook both of them now. If you want to freeze one of those for later, you just wrap it. I usually do like two layers of foil, two layers of plastic wrap, of course, write the name and the date on there and then stick it in the freezer whenever you need it. Of course, if you want the full freezer meal directions for that, just go over to largefamilytable.com and I'll have pictures, etc. So now I'm gonna work on the uh, leftover turkey noodle soup, which a little bit of that I'm going to leave out as well and then I'm going to freeze a good portion of that also. So I had just put in three of these 48 ounce containers of broth and then those Vegetables are nice and tender now. So, how do you like my washcloth oven mitt? Do as I say, not as I do, right? And we are also going to use some of these vegetables in the turkey terrazzini. However, a bunch of these are for the soup. And I'm also going to take several scoops of this chicken and put it in here. So based on the spices I have available, I'm going to be adding in some parsley, a little bit of ground sage, and some garlic powder and onion powder. There are many other spices that you could add to your soup. Oh, I'm going to also add in, of course, some salt and pepper. But I'm working with what I have on hand, which is always how we do things around here. So now while the soup is simmering, we're gonna dump everything that we need in uh, one of my larger size mixing bowls to get the turkey terrazzini in the works. And then here's what's left of those mixed vegetables and the celery and the onion. Here's two pounds of noodles, sour cream, and a whole lot, a lot of cheese. Then I'm gonna start mixing it up and in true Jamero fashion, I'm gonna mix it up the good old fashioned way with my, uh, my best tools, my hands. And here is how the soup looks, guys. It is fantastic. And yes, even though it has noodles in it, I have been eating it. If you would like to make this more of a Trim Healthy Mama E meal, which would be a meal with like moderate carbs instead of using the noodles, 
you could use brown rice. So here are the after Thanksgiving casserole bakes. I'm going to scoop this one out now and feed two of my people. Okay, so kitchen mess is growing behind me, but that's okay because we're, we're getting closer in all of this. So the soup I'm going to put in soup containers. I also want to show you this ice cream bucket. Let me uh, see if I can, yeah. You can also just freeze your soup in one of these ice cream buckets. This is a 4.25 liter ice cream bucket. Here are our six containers of leftover turkey noodle soup. I will put these in the freezer. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit before I put the lids on and freeze them, of course, but we got six containers out of it. Now, how we will use these, I'm, I'm envisioning that at some point in December or January, I will probably defrost two of these at a time. And this looks like the perfect soup to have little cups of it or little bowls of it alongside a grilled cheese sandwich. You can see exactly how I do these in my new series. I'm calling it Large Family Meals of the Week and my Large Family Meal Plan. So you can see all these freezer meals in action and just how I use them in real life. So here are the two bakes that are gonna go in the freezer and then all the soup. Okay, mamas, so you know the real deal. All those dishes. So we're starting at one end of the counter, coming all the way down, but something different is happening tonight in that I have an able-bodied 15 year old who's gonna tackle all these dishes for me and I'm gonna go get Mr. Benjamin and get him in a bubble bath and I will be paying the 15 year old in Cheez-Its and brownies so it's a fair deal. 